There's a lot of stuff in here where we're not going to talk about today, but what we are going to talk about is the stuff that Pete did <laughs> using my labeler, I might add. See, this? those are my labels. So, Pete, you want to explain this? Because this is terrifying. It is really terrifying, but it's about a quarter as terrifying as it was when I got here. So where we were at up above with the solar thermal panels was we had 5,000 gallons of that stored hot water that we talked about. So then we were pumping that stored hot water out of the 5,000 gallons into these solar pipes that come all the way through the ground, uh, eighth of a mile away from the panels over here. So what we're doing is pumping that hot water into two different heat exchangers here, one of which is a coil of piping in his domestic hot water tank, which is his shower water, dish water. Uh, everything he uses for domestic hot water comes from this tank. The other heat exchanger does his space heating in the winter months. When he needs the space heating, the solar thermal's doing that also. Pretty straightforward. And then the rest of the makeup for all of his space heating is done off of a 98% efficient boiler. Now you see you're completely confused. And that's the problem. Well, yeah, let's you're have you okay. try to so straighten that out. We're going to back this out because she's <laughs> way, his problem is he, he looks like a simple fellow, but he's actually sophisticated. <laughs> Except when you get him out in public and never mind. So here's what's happening. Those arrays up there collected heat. It got stored in an underground tank as hot water, really hot water, like 150, 160, 170 degree hot water. Much hotter. The shower might be at 115 degrees, something like that. 120 degrees. Uh, yeah. See, I knew he would. He never, he never agrees with me. So um, anyway, so that's really hot. And it comes underground. Normally, it would just be at your house, and it's coming up, and that hot water circulates through this tank and throws the heat off into the water that goes into your house. Sweet. So this tank is full of hot water, just like it would be normally. But instead of paying the electric company for an electric hot water heater for the power, or the gas company for the gas to run this, this is just the sun that creates all that heat. You just said the same thing I did, but you took a really long time I did. to say You're it. You're right. Okay, so here's... Well, but yours too complicated. Heat exchanges? Well, understand. it was done. I said it and it was done right. and it was very not complicated. You this just rambled on and I'm on and on. The, I'm calling the divorce it. lawyer. That's it. Wow. So here, this is just, this is the sunshine because that's free. I, the last time I noticed that the United States government was not yet charging me to use the sun. If they found out, if they, found out they would charge you. Don't tell. Don't, <laughs> don't tell. They'll tax it. They'll, find, they'll figure out some way to charge us for using the sunshine. Oh, 